Hi, my name's Jason, um, the MapTech iSight Group. Um, what we're going to run through today is uh, modelling a drag line or excavator bucket into a 3D solid so we can calculate volumes. So let's go through and just using our standard point selection tools, we're going to crop out uh, the bucket and just keep those points that we wish to model. So what we'll do is let's just rotate it around into like a section view um, and we'll control two or um, random color those three scans so we can see each of them as a different color. And then using our lasso selection, freehand selection, we can uh, freehand digitize around the bucket to keep the points we want and then crop those out. So if we rotate it around now you can see that we've got the, uh, the outside of the actual bucket. By object selecting that scan from that side we can then point select and delete those points um, that are on the outside of the bucket. So it basically keeps the inside points which are the points that we are going to model. So then we'll just go around and quickly clean up any other spurious points and then we're ready to begin our solid triangulation. So once we've cleaned our uh, bucket up and got rid of all those points, we'll just run a minimum separation filter over them just to decimate them a little bit. And then what we'll do then is going to the model menu, um, we will then go to the spherical option. And on that panel, we want to make sure we've ticked or right, the radio button there closed the solid. And if you right click in the XYZ on your selection, that'll give us the uh, selection center. So that'll give us a nice solid model. So we've just created that and then if we uh, validate that, give it a different colour, um, we can now despike it to remove any of those spikes in the surface, or in this case solid. So let's just despike it um, and then once the despike is run it will uh, show you in the report window how many spikes it removed. And then once we've just checked it over again, what we can do now is create our solid volume and just right click, query, solid volume. And then our report window will give us, depending on what units you've set, either cubic meters, cubic yards, we uh, can then get a closed solid volume. Finally then, for visualization purposes, we could actually bring all of the points back except those that are on that surface using the proximity filter and then we could just color the points um, say photographic color and then we've got ourselves quite a nice uh, visualization of the actual bucket model with the scan points. And then finally just color them photographic and then that's it then you have your uh, your solid volume thank you very much